So our May 16th um, deck dinner, I guess, is another non-deck dinner. It's uh, We're having it under the cherry tree, which is in bloom, which is lovely. Um, and this is a nice shady spot, so we like to sit here sometimes. Um, and I keep arranging it differently. I did it today, I rearranged it already. But anyway, now I made falafels and I pan fried them because I didn't want to heat up the a house by turning on the oven. So, because it's already hot. Um, but we'll have a couple rain days ahead so I should be able to bake them and see how they work that way. Um, this recipe that I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, so I pan fried them in a little coconut oil and I was, you know, it got me thinking recently, all the different brands of coconut oil. And um, there's way more than what I have here. This was just what I happened to have around, the containers I had around. So, um, and I've lined them up to which ones I think are best to not as good. And, but I don't know, right? Um, but anyway, what got me wondering was seeing the coconut oil capsules um, which are sold as supplements and I thought you know I wonder if they're extracting the healthy parts of coconut oil or the healthiest parts and sticking it in capsules and then selling coconut oil um, without those healthy parts of them you know you never know right um, because I don't know if they'd have to tell you on the label. But this one here does say a few different things on the label, which makes me think, well, it must be better. It says cold pressed and pure white, not refined, deodorant, de bleh, deodorized or bleached. Um, it's organic, made without pesticides or hexane, which, you know, I have no idea. But, um,. Anyway, so there's that one, which makes me think, well, that might be better. And I, I do like the taste of the virgin oh. coconut oil. And this one here says refined. So, uh, and it's expeller pressed, which I don't know if that's better. <laughs> but I'm thinking, you know, it, it is in a nice glass jar, but I'm still putting this one ahead, I think. And this one is still organic, but it doesn't, it doesn't really give me much. Um, it is expeller pressed, which is the same as that last one. <sighs> Non-hydrogenated and free of trans fats, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but I don't know. I don't know which is better. This, this cheap one says ingredients coconut oil that's really all you get from from this one so don't know. anyway they're all super high in fat and saturated fat is very high but um, again if you're gonna be cooking with saturated fat at all I, I still think that's your best bet is coconut oil other than any other. Now, I tried to find another seedling. I just saw another, I was cleaning my yard of tree seedlings, and this one is a pretty good size. I got a pretty good root on that one, and it's done. I, it's not going to come back. If you leave them much bigger than this, you probably won't be able to yank it out. And um, so, anyway, the. Um, what do you call it? The falafels I made were from this cookbook. And uh, I didn't follow the recipe exactly. The, um, what do you call it? Hummus I made is from this cookbook. Um, and I think that's funny because she went traveling um, so that she could find recipes around the world. You know, in the day of the internet and um, all sorts of recipes you can find on the internet from around the world. She goes traveling to find them. But that's where I got the hummus recipe. And 
it was good without fat, which is how she made it. And um, James, you'll be sitting there. Good. But uh, I added some tahini to it, so I, I actually gave it some fat, um, which I think made it 